betray a What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Trey, buddy. Coming at you with something a little bit different today. <clears throat> we're gonna take uh, some old uh, garden tools that I got and we're going to make a little yard art. Um, it don't take much, you know, to do this stuff. Um, everything's different. I've made a bunch of them. They, none of them come out the same because you never have the same tools, you know. As you're working out in the field, you know, around the house, you know you're gonna have a flat shovel, round shovel, hose, rakes, pickaxes, uh, loppers, scissors, anything that breaks, you can always turn it into a piece of art. And I'm gonna show you what I, I got here. Put all this stuff together with a little old Lincoln Electric weld pack, uh, pig welder. But here's what I got. I got an old railroad spike I found walking around the side of the road somewhere. Um, this uh, T-handled rebar piece I got here. I made that, hell, probably over 10 years ago to hold, uh, put my dove decoys on, but it somehow got all bent and smashed over the years, but I knew I'd need it for something, and today is that, that day. Got a flat shovel that I broke, putting in my uh, drains around the house. House kept trying to take on water, so we put some drains around it, and I broke that, uh, this shovel. Same thing, somehow I broke it, but I, I I keep this stuff because you make, sky's the limit, man. You know, I like seeing metal yard art, and like I said, use your imagination. Got some uh, washers, and uh, that's it, guys. Got wire brush, which I'll need, to, you know, to kind of scrape some of this stuff, surfacing crud off, or maybe some splatter I get. So, cheap Harbor Freight helmet um i got one of the better ones i got but you know I'm not a full-time welder you know this is mainly tech stuff so i didn't need to go out you know buy a four or five hundred dollar helmet but uh first thing i'm gonna do though guys is i'm gonna take and i'm gonna cut this in half and then i'm gonna figure out where i'm gonna put it on my shovel and i'll uh i'll show you as i go all right, guys, I got the rake head cut in half. I had to put it in a vise to, so I could get a straight cut on it. And then I took my uh, cutoff wheel and kind of turned it sideways and kind of roughed the back. So when I'm welding this stuff, and I do the same thing to the back of the, the shovel head here. What we're gonna do is give you an idea of what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put this sucker right here. Kind of, it'd be like the wing structure. So. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and fire up this welder. I'm gonna tack this on here because before I move to the next step, trying to do the legs or the head or anything, I need to kind of figure out where this stuff's gonna fall and lay, so. All right, show you the next step after I tack this up. All right, guys, I got one uh, tacked on on the back. See what I'm talking about right there? I put it in a vise. Once I get the legs on, you'll see exactly what it's gonna look like. Cause it's gonna be or tilted like that and have some legs and then, you know once it gets the head on stuff comes together like i said you, there's no wrong in doing this you know you just take this stuff and make it your own if you want to put that and make it a head or make it a mouth by all means do so um all right so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this other side on and i'm gonna do the front and then uh we'll see what it looks like then all right guys let me get this sweater going and i'll uh, get back with you real soon all right, guys. I got the other one on. I'm uh, I'm very pleased with the way this thing is is starting to turn out. And uh, and you know, guys, when you're doing this stuff, your wheels don't have to be perfect, man. I mean, as long as it lays in there, does the job, because this stuff's gonna be all sanded down. It's gonna be painted. Um, you know, now not you, but me. If it gets too crazy and I'm blowing holes and I got splatter on everything, I'll grind it off and redo it. But for the most part, just lay a tack down that'll hold it and, you know, call it good. Um, 
like I said, there's no wrong way to do it, and you'll probably hear me say that a hundred times, but I, I honestly mean it. That's why it's called art. It's whatever the person describes it to be, you know. That's just the, the beauty of it. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and get the underlay going, uh, figure out where I'm going to put these legs, and then I'll show you how I cut those down. All right. All right, guys, we have now got the, uh, the under all tacked up. I'm uh, really impressed and happy with the, the way this thing's coming together. You kind of see it's going to kind of lean like that. You know, it'll be up in the air. I'll show you as far away here in a minute. But right now, we're going to go to start on the, uh, the legs. I'll show you how I do that. I like to start off with two, I mean, and make them just like a bird's foot, you know? They're gonna have the three, and then kind of a kicker in the back. So what I take and do is, I'll take this rebar right here. I'm gonna measure that. I'm gonna cut two at six inches, and then I'm gonna cut four at three inches. So once I get that all wrapped up, I'll, uh, I'll let you see what that looks like. All right, now I got my feet cut out. I laid them out like how they're gonna go. Um, like I said before, I got a six inch, six inch, four, and four. I cut four at four inches, two at six inches. And uh, you know, if you wanted to, you know, you could probably 45 that, you know, and flush it up, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna really weld that dude up and then uh you know i won't on this one but a lot of them i even take and put a big old like a landscaping timber nail on the bottom so you can just drive it down your ground but this one here i'm hoping that i can get it all balanced and it'll just stand on its own but uh all right i'm gonna get these tacked up and then i'll show you the next step of getting the uh the real legs going you know, that way we know how high we want it off the ground, how far forward. But uh, let me get these tacked up. We'll rock on with the next step. All right, guys. I got my legs all, you know, tacked up nicely, you know, the way I wanted it. And I forgot when I first started out, I thought I had enough material, uh, the 3 8 3 bar to do what I had to do. But believe it or not, this took just doing the feet took every bit of that three foot stick I showed y'all. This is all that's left. That right there, about a seven, seven and a quarter inch piece. But I had this and I hate to do it, but I'm gonna have to for this application. But I got this half inch stuff right here. I guess it was on a construction side or bridge. I don't know. Like I said, I find all this stuff out. Come drive down intersection at a red light and I see something like this in the middle of the road for one I used to ride a motorcycle and I got friends that do so I picked this kind of crap up and two it works for uh, all these little projects I like to come up with so I ended up cutting that in half which I didn't even I measured it but I don't know what the heck it was let's see 11 inches so I got two pieces at 11 inches so all right, well, I'm gonna put these on the, the feet and then I'm gonna set this thing up on top of there and kind of see the way I want it before I put the uh, the head and the uh, and the eyes on. So, all right, I'm gonna take this up, hit you up in a minute. All right, guys, got the legs all welded on like I wanted them. I took and cut this little spacer right here. That's temporary, I'll take that out. That's just to kind of, so I could, I knew how, what angle to get my legs. Uh, you see what, why I did that. We're almost down on the home stretch, guys. Not much longer and we'll be piecing this dude together. See, I'm gonna take that spacer out and I'm gonna put the top of the legs right at the curve of that. I wish this thing would sit here so you guys can kind of see where it's gonna go. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna take that out real quick and I'm gonna set this on there and kind of tack it and we'll see what it looks like. All right, before I remove that spacer, I changed my mind. I wanted to kind of 
set that on there. I put something up behind it to kind of prop it so you guys can kind of see what we're looking at here. It's starting to look like something. Starting to. Look like a chicken with no head. It's getting there, guys. Yeah, that's gonna be pretty. Once I pop that spacer out, I set that on there. That's about probably where I want it so I can use the back half. It's gonna be like the tail. Yeah, I think I, I might I might slide it up just a hair. Then once I pop that the head and the eyeballs on there, you guys are gonna be like, wow. Like put that dude on there and then we'll put some eyeballs. <coughs> and it's gonna be pretty. And I'll get it all wire brushed down today. I don't know what color I'm gonna paint it yet, but just kind of want to show you guys how to make you know something new you know you don't see this stuff right like this every day and, uh, i think it kind of looks good you know around the flower bed or front door you know people come over they're like wow where'd you get that you know that's what it is basically a conversation piece and you know something that'll last you know a long long time but all right guys i'm gonna pop that spacer out Pack that dude up and uh, show you the next step. All right, guys, I just now finished up uh, getting the legs on. And I got lucky, man, with that half inch steel rebar. It didn't blow no holes, but it sure melted good. I'm proud of that. Well, yeah, you know, honestly, and, it, and this sucker's balanced too. Watch, set it down here on some concrete or something. Don't even rock. Man, that's pretty. All right, let me get the head and the eyeballs on. And the, that's the next step. Putting the head on, and then I'll show you a picture of that video. And then uh, we'll put the eyes on. I don't know where the eyes are going until I get the head on. So, all right, we'll get it back on that table and get this rolling. All right, guys, I now have the head on. I still got to clean it up a little bit before my wire broke off on me right there. But overall, came out good. Now I just got to get the eyeballs put on, and that'll be it for today, other than I'm going to scuff it up a little bit with my wire brush and maybe spray a little primer on it. But you can see. You know, other than time consuming and using your brain, you know, your imagination, the sky's the limit. You cannot go wrong. It's a piece of art and it's your piece of art. So, all right, let me get to finish up this head, get the eyes on, and I'll show you the final product. Well, guys, here you have it. This is the final, well, my final. This is all I'm gonna do to this, this piece of work here. You know, it's, be like a crane out in the field, a uh, heron by the pond or whatnot, you know, or actually I said that backwards, you know, cranes usually by the water, herons out in the field, but either way, it's a bird sitting there like it's staring at a piece of food just fixing a stripe. I don't know what color I'm gonna paint this one yet. Heck, I might sell it as is, give it to somebody, paint it up, put it in my front yard. But I got quite a few in my front yard, but the thing is, they're all different. Man, look at that bad boy. That dude came out pretty. And then, I mean, look at that. What I made out of a railroad spike that was found, a shovel that I had forever that broke, or a rake that, you know, was no good. All this stuff, I either had and broke it, it's old, or I found it. Um, you know, the rebar. I think the only thing that was on here that was bought was these washers and of course you know my welding tools but those are mine i had that but anyways anybody can do this stuff you know and i'm not no welder and i don't even claim to be one I, i'm self-taught you know struck up a deal traded something for that welder for a guy at work and uh just started playing around with this stuff man and uh so there you have it.
think it turned out pretty cool. So guys, I, I sure hope you know you enjoyed and maybe learned something or maybe use it. Um, if not, hope you just, you know, like enjoyed watching me, you know, build this thing. You know, hit that like button, subscribe button, you know, tell your buddies. I do this stuff for fun, but you know, if somebody wants a piece, I can sure uh, strike one up, you know, and prices is all very, you know, whether I bought the stuff or if I found the stuff, if you donate the stuff, if I paint it, you paint it. I, I can't give you a price, every piece is different. But I enjoy doing this stuff and uh, putting it out there, you know, somebody else might learn to do this and uh like i said it's, it's trey buddy thanks for watching peace out